Well, good Sunday evening, everybody. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Leah Murphy. Essentially, today has been a different season as what we've been dealing with for the last couple of days with the Arctic blast. Now, today we saw temperatures getting into the 40s. And if we take a look at your 24, we're going to see temperatures falling through the 30s as we push through the overnight. We'll have a blend of cloudy skies as well as some clearing in our area. So we'll see temperatures falling down through the 30s as we push through the overnight hours. But again, that blend of cloud cover coming into our area. We do look to actually be mostly clear, especially as we head towards around 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. We'll see temperatures down into the lower 30s. And then as we're waking up tomorrow morning, we'll see those cloud cover rolling once again. We'll see some low-level clouds, temperatures rising up through the 30s. So we'll be dealing with mostly cloudy skies for the beginning half of the day tomorrow. And for tomorrow, I would say a blend of sun and clouds throughout the day is what we're going to be betting for. We'll see temperatures topping off around 44 to 45 degrees with a mix of sun and clouds for your day on Monday. Now, as we push into the evening hours, then that's when temperatures will once again fall down into the 30s. Now, right now in Springfield, we're looking at 41 degrees, which is very mild even for a daytime high this time of year, especially in comparison to what we've been dealing with for the last couple of days. We do have a bit of a breeze coming out of the south southwest at 11 miles per hour, so there is a little bit of a wind chill out there. It does feel like 34 degrees, but again, compared to the sub-zero temperatures we were dealing with the other day, definitely would rather take this over that. Temperatures throughout the rest of the region, we're seeing 41 in Springfield, Worcester, 42 right now in Boston, 40 in Hartford, and 38 over in New Haven. And compared to 24 hours ago, we are looking at temperatures about 30 degrees warmer, and that's after temperatures already started coming up after the Arctic blast. So we were seeing temperatures probably about 50 degrees colder than we are seeing right now when we turn back the clock to about Friday night and into Saturday morning. Satellite radar, not much to look at right now. We just have a lot of cloud cover throughout most of Western Mass. And then some lake effects, rain snow, and rain showers, and snow showers off to our east. We do have a little bit of a weak front coming through our area which does look to bring the cloud cover, especially as we get towards your day on Monday. And there is the slight chance for a little bit of a passing flurry or snow shower, but I do think we are going to be mainly dry for your day on Monday. Once that front passes, we do look to have mostly clear skies heading into Monday night. And low and uh, high pressure offshore does look to build into our area, keeping Tuesday mainly dry. Now, once we head towards Tuesday midday, the cloud cover does look to build in. We do have some weak fronts moving through our area, which does look to possibly give us the chance for a rain-snow mix. But it will be very brief, and it will all happen once the sun goes down on Tuesday. Tuesday. Now, it will be very brief, and then after that, once that front passes through, we'll just be left with mostly cloudy skies heading into your day on Wednesday, and there it does look like we could be looking at the possibility of some rain showers heading into Wednesday morning. Now, your next weather maker looks to come in on Thursday into Friday, which does look to be in association with a pretty complex low-pressure system. So we do look to have low pressure pass off to our north, and then a cold front will pass into our area with low pressure forming along it, and we do look to have the possibility of some mixed precipitation starting, especially in the hill towns, before we turn over to a more of a soaking rain for your day on Thursday. So the timing of this looks to be anywhere in between the late morning on on Thursday between about 10 to 11 a.m., lasting all day Thursday and into the overnight Thursday into Friday. We will be looking to have a soaking rain, but nothing really too substantial with that. Just a little bit of some mix in the hill towns and then becoming more of a soaking rain. Now, temperature-wise, compared to what we've been dealing with, we're going to be looking at temperatures well above normal. According to the 8 to 14 day temperature outlook, it has all of the Northeast well above normal for this time of year. Keep in mind our average high for February is about 35 degrees, and we'll be looking at 45 for your high on Monday. We'll drop down a little bit more to about 40 degrees on Tuesday, but then once again, we're back up to the mid and upper 40s, especially as we head towards Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, where we could even be nearing 50. So we are definitely going to be dealing with some mild temperatures, and it will be feeling lower like spring out there. For tonight, we'll be looking at partly to mostly cloudy skies, not as cold. We'll see temperatures in the upper 20s to lower 30s. And we will be looking at a little bit of a breeze coming out of the south at 5 to 15 miles per hour. As the kids are heading off to the bus stop tomorrow morning, we'll see a mix of sun and clouds with temperatures in the upper 20s. And then as they're heading home, once again, still a mix of sun and clouds, but it will be very mild with temperatures in the 40s. Now, beyond that, we are looking at the chance for some showers Tuesday night and into Wednesday. We could look at that little bit of a mix, but then Wednesday looking mainly dry with temperatures in the mid 40s. And then we do have our next weather maker coming in for your day on Thursday. Definitely looking more like a soaking rainfall throughout the day on Thursday. I would definitely favor more rain over mixed precipitation or snow. And then Friday, those look to be mainly dry and mild with temperatures near 50 degrees. We do look to have a chance for a passing shower overnight Friday into Saturday. And then we do turn breezy and cooler for Sunday and into Monday.